Welcome back to TV2 News. These days, most professors might say they're just trying to get their students to pay attention. Well, this Kent State professor is asking his students to do a little more. Reporter Christiana Ford has the story. Christiana? Thanks, Katie. You may have heard of swapping chairs for exercise balls in elementary schools, but have you heard of college professors bringing them into their serious courses? Professor Peter Palfi Mahore has done just that. And from, I was just in there, and I'll say he has really spiced up his electromagnetic theory class. Students in this graduate electromagnetic theory course are preparing for class in quite a unique way. It's a little crazy, but I don't know. I thought it was worth a try. Professor Peter Palfi Mohore says the idea came to him while eating breakfast and reading the New York Times. He read an article about how people learning languages tend to do better when sitting on an exercise bike. He did his own research from there. Motor uh, activity helped the production of proteins, which are used in the brain for neuroplasticity and learning. So why exercise balls? We want that something which is not too strenuous, doesn't distract the students, but requires gross motor control. So exercise balls seem perfect. And the students think so too. I like the like rolling forward and backwards thing. What? Go like that? Yeah. Yeah. No. What? <laughs> I want to bounce more, but I don't want to like disrupt everyone. <laughs> but having these balls in class was not all fun and games. These students did very little bouncing. They were learning about electromagnetism and quantum mechanics, but were able to focus. They seemed to manage fine. And in fact, I have to say that just in class today, the students seemed as attentive as ever. So, I don't know, so far it looks good. And however odd or unusual it may seem, he encourages all professors to just give it a try. It's, it's an opportunity to try something that may work or may not work. I mean, physics is all about that. You know, if, if, if there's a new idea that, that has some appeal and is doable, uh, yeah, then we want to try it, see what happens. And the professor also says he's hopeful that these exercise balls in classrooms will become a norm in the future. He mentioned that they were pretty cheap from Walmart. I'd like to see that in my classes. It might actually help me focus. For TV2 News, I'm Christiana Ford. Back to you.